Hi, I'm Courtney and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through 15 items to include in your wish list when you're building your dream forever home. These are all luxury inclusions and I really do believe they will elevate the look of any new home build. I am actually also sitting in a display home by McDonald Jones Homes and all 15 of these items are on display here in this home so I'll add clips of every single item as we go through them so you know exactly what I'm referring to. But before we get stuck into it, don't forget to head down below as well and hit that subscribe button and ring the notifications bell so that you're notified every time I post. So the first item on this list is to recess your external door track. Now, your external doors onto your alfresco, your outdoor living area, can have sometimes a little lip to them where the track runs in, but you can have your builder recess the door track so the bottom of the door is actually sunk into the slab and that way you don't have to kind of step over it. It still does have a very, very small lip to it, but nowhere near as much when you do recess them. So that would be my first recommendation to recess your door tracks to your alfresco. The second recommendation I would add into my luxury dream home build would be to recess your wet area floors. So in newer home builds, sometimes they will have a little lip at the edge of say your bathroom, sometimes your laundry as well. And that little lip is so that they can make sure that the water is draining. They'll sometimes put like a sand bed underneath. So the water and the tiles are all leading to the drain in the middle of the floor. But if you go that little extra step and have them recess the wet areas, it means that you can have that smooth transition from your bedroom into your ensuite or from a hall into a bathroom. And just in this home, you have it in the butlers into the laundry and rather than having that little lip you've got then a simple transition that's all one floor level so I think both those recesses the door tracks and the wet areas really do elevate the look of a home all right the third item is going to be heated floors so in Australia this isn't a huge one but in some climates and in colder areas in Australia it can be a really lovely item to add in item number four is to increase your ceiling height so increasing your ceiling height is a great idea to lift your eyes up and make the space feel bigger, lighter, and brighter. Most Australian homes come as a standard 2.4 ceiling, and in the McDonald Jones homes and some other builders, you can go 2.4, 2.55, 2.7, .5, and sometimes three meter high ceilings as well. As well as this, you have got other ceiling feature options that you can add into homes. I've shown before a home that we toured, which was the Havana home. I'll link up to that house tour up above for you now. That Havana has a raked ceiling in there, so it's another lovely, beautiful ceiling feature. Sometimes you'll do coffered ceilings as well to lift your eye and bring a feature to the ceilings. Now, if you are gonna go for the higher ceilings, the 2.7s or the three meter high ceilings, my next recommendation is to increase your door heights and perhaps your windows as well. So when you go for those higher ceilings, if you're keeping a standard door height, you'll have a big gap between the top of the door and the ceiling with this big white chunk of gyp rock or whatever color you paint your walls. And it kind of looks a little bit lacking. So if you want those higher ceilings, make sure you chip in and do the higher doors as well so that way you've got that beautiful height throughout. Now, if you're going to do the higher doors, then you also want to think about your windows. Most homes will have the tops of the doors and the tops of the windows matching. So if you raise those doors and you make them the taller doors, you either want to raise your windows up and often this will not cost you any extra. But if you do want a larger amount of light coming into the space and making it brighter, increasing those windows by about 300 mils will mean the tops of the doors and the tops of the windows will match and you'll have that beautiful look throughout. Number six on my list is to have a large front door. So my favorite width of front door is 1.2 meters and these are really grand luxurious wide doors and they make a beautiful feature entry in the home. Even if you can get close to that with a meter wide door that's great too. So have a little look at your home design if you're building a luxury home and you've got a wider hallway having that wide door to match can really make a stunning statement. Number seven is going to be another fun item for the exterior of your home this time. It is going to be your roof pitch. So if you can increase the roof pitch of your home, it really does give you a better street presence. Most roof pitches you'll see these days are about a 22.5 and it does look quite flat next to something like a 26 degree roof. Our display homes here will all have a 26 degree roof pitch and they do look quite beautiful. But I've got a very good photo that I've taken previously that I'll insert here for you now showing a 22.5 next to a 26 degree roof pitch and there is an absolute world of difference if you're building your home next to something that does have a smaller roof pitch it does give you a much nicer street 
present. The next item on my list is to build with a steel frame. This is such a great alternative, especially with the current timber shortage that the world is experiencing. If you can find a builder that has a steel frame, then you are definitely going to be leaps and bounds ahead of the rest. Steel frames are a great option. They are stronger. They have less movement over longer stretches of material. So you'll find less surface cracks and you'll have less issues in general. The builder that I work for, McDonald Jones Homes, they go ahead and have a really incredible steel system that is actually patent. They have different bolt systems that connect the pieces and that integrate the roof trusses to the actual wall steel frame. So it's a very, very smart system. A lot of this system is also prefabricated off-site so that when it's time for your house to be constructed, they just bring that prefab steel frame together. It's like a big jigsaw puzzle, they pop it together. And my house steel frame went up in two days so it can be done very very quickly in comparison to a standard timber frame I will also mention as I said before we're in the Miami home here today at Box Hill if you do like this house and you want to see a full home tour of it I've done a full tour and I'll link that up above here for you now number nine on my list to go through is picture recesses now having these included in the home is really just a luxurious touch if you know the measurements of your artworks you're gonna be hanging on certain walls Putting them in a picture recess gives you a really beautiful sleek look that it's well thought through and you've put the time and effort into thinking the space through prior to construction. So you'll see in the hallway of this home, they've got a beautiful picture recess that allows those two pieces to be seamlessly integrated into the wall and they don't feel like they're taking up any hall space. So if you can integrate your pictures and likewise sometimes your TVs as well, if you're comfortable figuring out which size TV and the cavity for that as well, I would highly recommend including picture recesses. All right, number 10 on the list is doing a large kitchen island. I love having a kitchen island in the center of the home. It really creates a great space to gather around with family and friends so the bigger the better in my books as long as it's not taking up too much space and it still is in proportion to the home this home has a stunning kitchen island it's got the sink in the middle there but plenty of prep space around and space for a breakfast bar around the front there too I think if your kitchen does have an island in the middle of it it is just so much more functional and usable to be able to walk around and move through the area if there's multiple people cooking and having that bigger island with the breakfast bar on one side and prep space on the other is a really functional Number 11 on my list is a butler's pantry. Now this is another great inclusion in any beautiful kitchen and gives you a space to hide your coffee machine, toaster and other appliances so that they're out of the way and your main kitchen area is nice and clean looking. And it also gives you another space to hide a second sink if you do want to pop clutter or mess over there as well. So it gives you a great functional area, I think, and a great inclusion in any luxury home build. Number 12 on my list is to have his and her sinks in your ensuite. Now this one, was a critical in my home build. We actually reconfigured our entire ensuite just to get his and her sinks and a nice big vanity in the space with a big mirror as well. If you wanna see the floor plan changes I did to my house to achieve this, I'll link that video up above here and down below for you too. But we went above and beyond to make sure that we had that space. You can see it beautifully executed in this home here as well, where they actually have a separate his and her sinks. And they're kind of out of the way, so when you walk in the room, it's not the main focus. The next item on my list, number 13, is ducted air, ducted AC. In Australia, this one is definitely a must have. Ducted air conditioning is so nice, so user friendly, and really, really great. So I would highly recommend and having ducted AC in your luxury home build. All right, we're almost at the end of the list. As I said earlier though, if you like my video, don't forget to head down below and hit that subscribe button and ring the notifications bell so you're notified every time I post. Number 14 on the list is one of my favorites. It is integrated appliances. Now this is one I really wish I could have done in my home, but this is not our dream home and not our forever home, so I didn't go ahead and do this. But integrated appliances are stunning and really make all the difference. In this home, you'll see on display an integrated dishwasher, which looks seamless with the cabinetry. If you don't know where it is, you would never notice it was there. And likewise, the refrigerator also in the butler's pantry in this home has been beautifully integrated so that it is concealed within that cabinetry. It really does allow the rest of the stunning items in the home to stand out. And those eyesore pieces like a dishwasher or a fridge that might not be too pretty, just to seamlessly blend into the rest of that kitchen area. All right, number 15 and lucky last on my list is one that I absolutely absolutely love and I know it's gonna be a bit of cleaning and some people don't love this but I love them it is freestanding baths so I think if you're gonna have a luxury home and you're gonna keep it looking nice and beautiful I know it's a bit more cleaning but a freestanding bath can look impeccable this one here on display also has the floor mounted tapware the gold tapware and it is just
just so stunning in person. So a freestanding bath is a must have in any luxury home build. All right, that is all 15 of my luxury home build items that you need to add into your dream home build. But I do have a few more that I've already got on another list. So if you guys wanna see another video with another 15 luxury home build must-haves, leave a comment down below telling me that you'd like to see another video just like this one and I'll go ahead and make that one for you too. But thank you so much for sticking around all the way till the end. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up and I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.